Good morning, you guys. It is my day off today, and I have a bunch of errands to run, and I thought it'd be fun to kind of take you along with me and just hang out. I don't really do a lot of vlogs, um, or at least not lately, mostly because I do the same thing every day, and I feel like it's just not very interesting. <laughs> I'm also very bad at vlogging. I'm like, a lot of the times I do want to vlog, I'm like, I'm going to vlog, I'm going to bring my camera, and then I just either forget or I just feel like the moment isn't right. I just really want to be like fully present in what I'm doing. Um, and that's usually when I'm hanging out with people and friends or family or whatever. All right, let's go do breakfast, which is really going to be leftovers. All right, so here's breakfast. Like I said, not very exciting. It's just leftover mac and cheese. And I made some chorizo the other day. That was kind of like a little extra. It was too much for what we were eating. So I saved it for today. And I'm going to have coffee. Look at this cute mug, though. This is from my school. I went to San Diego State University. Um, so when I saw that they partnered with Starbucks, I'm like, I have to have this. So. Actually, this mug in particular, my friend Marion got for me. So thanks, Marion. How cute, right? And this is the creamer that I've been obsessed with lately. It's this non-dairy creamer, almond and oat milk, hazelnut and latte inspired from Starbucks. It is so, so good. And I love it around this time of year because I feel like the nuttiness of the hazelnut reminds me of the fall. So it's really good. So one of the things I love to do is play video games. Um, this one, I'll be honest, is not my favorite. It's kind of like an I Spy game. Um, but it's still fun. Like it's it's still fun. I prefer ones where you kind of have to go around looking for clues and connecting things together. You don't really do this here. You just like this particular one. You have to find the differences between the two pictures, and then in the other like main game, you just have to look for certain things. So it's definitely more of a nice buy. But I'm going to play it. I'm gonna enjoy my coffee, and then I'm gonna get ready to go run my errand. I have my hair in a ponytail because I can't eat with my hair down. I don't know. It's it's weird. Um, but if you don't play video games, I highly recommend as a form of relaxation. Um, I don't really like to play any sort of like shooters or anything like Call of Duty. I don't really play any of that. I've played like Tomb Raider and I've played um, more of like PC games. And I really like kind of like the adventure, the clues, like the Nancy Drew kind of games. So that's what I personally like. I also really enjoy uh, the Lego games. So Lego has a bunch of different games. They have like Star Wars and Marvel and Harry Potter so so many it's super duper fun and you can play it with um somebody else so you it is not just like a single player and i just really love it and it's really fun to unwind and relax and just play this game another game that liz and i are actually playing together which is only a two-player game <clears throat> sorry it's called it takes two and it's super fun um i will kind of put like a link down below um, of when i find like a better description and like a picture of it but basically the essence is you are like these two parents and your little girl kind of wishes for you to get along. And so her parents then become transformed into these dolls. And so now you're going through all these like adventures to kind of get back to your little girl. Um, you're going through like tree houses and it's super creative and super innovative and I'm doing a really bad job explaining it. So I'm going to link it down below for you to check it out. But if you and your partner like to play games, I highly, highly recommend it. It's like a teamwork game. Like you have to work as a team. There are certain like obstacles that's like, oh, you have to press this button. And while that team member is pressing this button, you have to run over here and like swing and jump and do all this fun stuff. So I'll link all the information down below for you to check it out. Okay. I feel like... Everyone already knows this, and <clears throat> I did too, but then I forgot about this product. But I just sprayed it in my hair. It's the Batiste Original. Just just the original one. Uh, dry shampoo. I also have the volumizing one that I like to use because I have really flat hair. But, oh, man, I just forgot how good this thing is. And, like... And this is, like... I haven't washed my hair since... Thursday and it's Tuesday and let me tell you my hair gets greasy my hair gets greasy real fast it's one of those that like I'll wash it in the morning by the late afternoon it's like dirty again but man this shampoo is so good now is it pristine like absolute cleanly cleanliness no 
but compared to the other dry shampoos I've been using lately, I love it. So if you don't know about this or if you just forgot, here's a little reminder for you. Use the Batiste because it is wonderful. Also, don't forget your sunscreen. This is the one that I'm using. It's the Super Goop Unseen sunscreen. I love this thing. It is very expensive. Ugh, it's so annoying how expensive it is. But it's the only one that I found so far that does not break me out. Like, my skin is so acne prone. Like, any little disruptance will, like... <sighs> so, unfortunately, so far, only this one works. If anyone has... Any suggestions to other sunscreen that I could use that are maybe a little more affordable, please let me know. I would love to try it out. Thanks. Heading out the door, this is what I'm wearing. Just something really cozy. It's this oversized sweater that actually my mom got me from Costco. Same with the leggings. My mom loves Costco. And then my Nike shoes. So, nothing crazy. <laughs> Just super cozy, comfortable. That's what I like to wear. <laughs> so I'm actually also listening to this audiobook. It's called The Court of Thorns and Roses. And it's really good. It's actually a fantasy book, um, which I normally do not read. But this has been super interesting. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I actually do book reviews there all the time. So if you're interested in book recommendations or anything like that, um, anything book related, <laughs> uh, follow me there. Um, my Instagram is always linked down below under every single video. So check it out if you like to read or if you need some recommendations. I have so many there already. Um, so yeah, I'll link it down below and let's hope I can get out because there's so much traffic and I'm parked on the street and hopefully someone lets me in. <laughs> we'll see. First stop, the bank to get quarters for laundry and then Trader Joe's. So I wanted to kind of record inside of Trader Joe's of what I usually get and things like that. But it was a bit chaotic, people are a bit crazy, and it's really early. So normally there aren't that many people here, so I'm not sure what's going on on this random ass Tuesday. But yeah, I was like, I need to get in and get out. I can't deal with these people. <laughs> I get enough people annoyance at work. I don't need it on my day off. <laughs> I don't need that kind of negativity. <laughs> so I didn't record, but... Got my groceries, kind of the bare minimum. They're redoing our sink. My maintenance people told me just as I was like leaving. So they're like, you can't use your kitchen sink for three days. And I'm like, good, good, so glad. So I grabbed kind of the bare minimum so that I can figure out what we're gonna do for food in the meantime. Okay, next stop is returning my library book. I just finished this, it's called All Good People Here. I highly recommend going and visiting your local public library. There are so many resources there, not just books. There's like magazines and audiobooks and like, thing, um, at least here, there's also books in different languages. So obviously it depends on the area that you live in, but LA is like a huge melting pot. So there's a lot of books in like Spanish and Armenian and Russian and all these other languages. So. It's super cool and you can check out movies and DVDs and I feel like so many people don't use the library anymore and I just don't know why. <laughs> I, I don't know. I grew up always like everywhere that I've lived I'm always like okay where's the nearest library and I would always be going there. Um, I just really enjoy reading. I'm not sure if every library does this but like the Los Angeles Public Library has like an e-book thing so there are a couple of books that are um, you can read like through your Kindle or on your phone or on your laptop. You just have to like sign in like any other like you just get a library card and you just sign in through that. I'm a huge advocate for public libraries. <laughs> okay, so I don't ever shop at Whole Foods because it is way too expensive. But I just want to tell you how much I appreciate how beautiful all of this is. Like this arrangement. Like look at these mushrooms. Look at all these vegetables. So cute. Like. It's so nice. And look at this. Look at this. How pretty. Right? Just gotta say, props to you Whole Foods. You look very, very nice. I will say what I thoroughly enjoy about Amazon that I think everyone enjoys is the comfort and the, oh my God, I almost died. <laughs> I'm so glad no one saw that. <laughs> okay, I enjoy the fact that it is so easy 
to return things for the most part. There have been like, okay, one thing that was really annoying to return. But aside from that, it's so easy. You either take it to like the UPS store or to Amazon and it's like scan, scan, bam, bam, you're done. In and out within like literally 10 seconds. It took me 10 seconds. So, really appreciate that about it. We're fixing our sink because it's one of those really old I don't know if it's like old school or whatnot but it's like is it ceramic I don't, I don't know but basically all they do is they glaze over the sink and then after a while it has natural like wear and tear so it starts to like bubble and crack and peel and it's on and it stains so easily and it's so disgusting and terrible and I hate it we've had it glazed before and it didn't last very long and I think they're redoing the same thing which is kind of frustrating and annoying but I mean I don't think they would replace the sink just because we asked for it that's not how apartments work um but I guess my question is if anyone else has this kind of sink where it's like white and it's literally just a glaze thing how do you keep it from like uh, bubbling and popping and cracking and peeling is there ways to like clean it that's more gentle because I mean I just use either Fabuloso or if it's like really stained I'll use um, Barkeeper's friend uh, those are like the two things that I use I and I try super hard to not even have it stained so that I don't have to use any of that stuff so I can just instead wipe it down cleanly with some soap or whatnot but still ultimately it starts to like pop and crack so if anyone has any tips on how to maintain this stupid sink please let me know later hi friends so the maintenance people left for now they have to come back a little bit later they also turned off my water so i can't use my sink i can't use any water kind of just stuck here <laughs> Um, but I have to like stay home and keep waiting for them to uh, come fix everything. I decided to sit down and unsubscribe from a bunch of places that I don't shop or I created it for like a one specific reason, like an account for a specific reason for a specific thing and I don't actually use it and then I just never got around to unsubscribing or deleting my account. So it's actually quite therapeutic. If you've never done that before, if you need to do it, here's a little sign for you to go through your email and unsubscribe from things that you don't use. So I highly encourage you guys to purge either your closet or your cleaning supplies or your makeup. Just start small, start small. Could be even your email like what I'm doing. So I hope this kind of inspires you to do a little bit of cleaning and cleansing throughout your home, your life. You can do it together.